What's up, Shady Sports Network? I'm back here tonight with a very special guest, Mr. LJ Dawson from Montana Western. LJ, how are you doing tonight, man? I'm doing good, Chris. I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? I'm doing good, you know, really excited to have you on tonight. So kind of my first question for you is looking towards 2024, we just started a new year about four days ago. What are some of your New Year's goals, both on the field and off the field? Uh, so currently, I'd say for the start of the 2024 uh, year, honestly, is just working out right now with my trainer in Seattle right now and getting ready for uh, any opportunity that I get with uh, any teams from overseas or any lead, quite honestly. So it's just getting ready for that and working out and getting ready. There's so many opportunities, you know, with the LFA, the ELF, the IFL, the NAL. But then there's opportunities in countries like Egypt. You know, Egypt just started their professional football league about a year ago. Have you, Are you open to every single opportunity? Or are there some opportunities where you're like, I would have to take a second look? Honestly, I'd be open to anything. Uh, I'd have questions on asking uh, former players that are playing in those leads to see their thoughts on it too and just kind of um kind of see where what their thoughts are on it too but you know, i'd be open to pretty much anywhere for sure and what do you believe personally that you bring to a team uh i think i believe that i would bring the pass rush as a edge rusher kind of like a von miller type uh that pass rushes uh, i can get to the quarterback within two seconds uh, and bring that to the field. Without a doubt, those are really important characteristics. And I feel like those characteristics that the pass rusher kind of translates to how you are as a locker room guy as well, you know, having that grittiness. When I look at you as a player, you know, going to Montana Western, you went there with my boy John John, quarterback. So, you know, I know that's a great school, produces a ton of talent. How was your experience at Montana Western? Uh, it was honestly an experience because I'm from Spokane, Washington. So coming from a bigger area in the uh, Spokane and going to a smaller school uh, where it's uh, a college where you have to earn it. They don't have the fancy um, school, all the money. So it's just blue collar. You have to earn everything that you get. And we don't have the fancy feel like everybody else. So we have the grass field. So definitely an experience of uh, people that I got to meet down there and the experiences and the friends that I got to make down there and people that I could call family. Without a doubt. And Montana Western is an NAIA powerhouse. You know, they're competing for the national championship every year. When you look at the NAIA as a division of college football, how would you kind of evaluate it and the level of competition? I'd say definitely the Frontier Conference for the NIA for Montana Western and just uh, teams in general. I mean, you get guys from Division One schools that do transfer over in the transfer portal. Um, I'd say our Frontier Conference is one of the top tier uh, conferences in the NIA. And, I mean, we play teams from, like, Central Washington, where Tech destroyed Central. And uh, other teams that play – other division one teams and make and make it a game. So definitely a great opportunity for others that are thinking about going to uh, these NIA schools or even Western or any other school in the Frontier Conference. It's definitely a, a great step. Without a doubt, that's a great opportunity to kind of, you know, scale yourself against higher level competition and realize, hey, this is where I stand up. When you look at the NIL and transfer portal, how would you have utilized that if you were in college in 2024? How would I utilize the transfer portal? Yes. Um, well, I've never used the transfer portal, so <laughs> I wouldn't really have an idea. But if I did... um. For players that are in the transfer portal that are looking for uh, 
opportunities and they're looking into the NIA, they're like, well, it's kind of like a Division Two or the competition. People tell me it's it's up there. The competition there's there's guys from different levels, and it's kind of a lot of guys that have a chip on their shoulder to prove because there's colleges that didn't look at these guys or for my case i had uh, had uh, options as well of playing with my wazoo um and other places that i wanted to play but i i just it didn't happen so western was one of those schools that gave me an opportunity and uh, i jumped on it and uh I got to play. I played on a third downs mainly and just pass rush, uh, getting the quarterback. And so um, the competition is definitely up there and guys have something to prove like John, John, Trey Mounts, um, Coach Norse's son that went off this year as a freshman, all American and just, yeah, a bunch of guys. Without a doubt, LJ, it's been great having you on the show tonight. I appreciate your time. My final question for you is going into 2024, how do you plan to kind of impact whatever community you play in? Um, definitely, if it's in Europe, definitely seeing uh, seeing how the culture is down there and getting to know uh, everyone and seeing how um, how everybody experiences that football team because anywhere you go it's different down there kind of like going to montana it's a different culture uh for instance when i was in montana i went down and helped out with uh a bunch of things with um with homeless shelters um with uh helping other companies that are small businesses and that kind of thing of getting people to go through the doors of uh freshman families when you have big people coming through and so helping the community and those things Definitely. LJ, I wish you the best of luck in 2024 and reach out if you need anything. Thank you, Chris. Really appreciate you uh, putting me on your YouTube channel, man. Really appreciate it, man. Yes, sir.